This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Police in West Price Hill continue the search for a suspect who shot two people. This is how the scene looked last night. The shooting happened on West 8th Street near Hermosa. Police tell us a woman was shot twice. Another person police describe as underage was injured by glass shrapnel. Both victims are in the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Also in West Price Hill, police have arrested a suspect for a homicide. Investigators say Jack Grubbs killed 18 year old Tyler Lee Tuesday night. Erlinger police caught Grubbs. He will remain in the Kitten County Jail until he can be extradited to Ohio. Cincinnati police have arrested a suspect accused of slashing the tires on nearly 60 cars near UC. Officers say the man in this video is 32 year old Joshua David Nicholson. Nicholson is charged with criminal damaging and vandalism and police say more charges could be added. More Marines were discharged this week, bringing the number of Marines kicked out of the branch for refusing the COVID-19 vaccine to 169. A statement by the Marine Corps said the speed with which the disease transmits among individuals has increased risk to our Marines and the Marine Corps mission. The Pentagon ordered all service members to get the vaccine. Jen. Today's forecast is warm and windy, not to mention a uh, rather cloudy out there, but we're not going to see any sunshine today. Upper 50s, though, it's where we'll settle later on this afternoon, and the temperature by late this evening will actually be our warmest of the day in the upper 50s. That gives way to a mild night, only down to 56 degrees as Santa takes his flight, and the wind will be, be a little breezy out there for the reindeer, too. But tomorrow, rain is still a likelihood. Temperatures will be in the mid 60s, and there's even the potential for a few rumbles of thunder. I'll show you when that pops in. Come Coming up in your complete nine first warning forecast.